and welcome to Starting Up. You've tuned in to a brand new revamp show. In fact, we've got a few new sections just for you. Let's take a look then at what's coming your way over the next half hour. On the show, on What's Your Story, we meet up with one of the technology leaders in the field of financial inclusion. On Trend Wheel, we meet the various startups in India's healthcare industry. And finally, looking to learn while on the move, most pay on an elevator pitch will show you how. Now almost 40% of India is actually unbanked. Think about it, it actually means close to 400 million people in this country don't have access to basic banking facilities. Well, Dhwani Desai caught up with a startup that believes it can use innovative technologies to bridge that gap. Here's Fino Technologies. village, Happy Go Lucky Jahangir goes depositing and collecting money, traveling either on his cycle, his bike or even barefoot. He's a reliable friend for many who entrust him with their financials. Jahangir is an agent for FINO, Financial Inclusions Network and Operations, an organization that was set up to help reach out to India's unbanked sector. child of Manish Khera along with his ex-colleagues from ICICI Bank who ventured out by initially partnering with microfinance institutions or MFIs, a strategy which saw some course correction. While uh, MFIs are a good partner, they are uh, one to focus on credit as a product. While the customer was wanting to do savings, was wanting to take insurance for many of the requirements. So the whole marriage was not happening properly. Uh, we then started stepping into the shoes of MFIs and we started saying that we will set up our own delivery channel. So from being a pure technology company, we also became a services company. And today uh, when we have 20 million customers, uh, we also have a workforce of 10,000 people. A course of 10,000 people which offer India's rural customers a variety of products that includes investments, deposits and insurance. They provide this by partnering with banks and earning commissions through them. After reviewing multiple technologies, the final enabling technology they narrowed their search on, the biometric card. So finally we zero down on an architecture where the customer has a biometric card. The fingerprints of the customer are stored on the card. The account details are stored on the card. The customer uses it to do transactions with the agent who carries a handheld device. The device can read from the card and do transactions. Now this is an MGM or a micro deposit machine which is available in shops in most villages. This machine may look like an ATM but is actually a little different. This particular slot here is for inserting your cash or depositing money. But the withdrawal works a little differently. For withdrawing, one needs to actually collect the receipt from here and then submit it to the shopkeeper who will in turn give me the cash. One of the most unique features of this ATM is the security feature which works with a fingerprint formula. Well, this is actually the most foolproof way of transacting with a machine using a card. The customer holding this card is indirectly holding an account of that bank and once the transaction is done, the agent connects the device to the system in the nearest 
Fino office to update the transaction in the account. With an agent distribution model instead of a brick and mortar one and MDMs instead of physical bank accounts, Fino's costs are far lesser as compared to that of a regular bank. No wonder then that banks see great value in partnering with Fino to reach out to the rural consumer. So reaching out to 600,000 villages and catering to the needs of every household was not possible. So we have to work with the uh, business correspondent, basically our agents. Fino is a one of the very important bus uh, business correspondent, uh, one of the largest uh, uh, among the many. Fino has already partnered with nearly all the scheduled banks so far. Banks like ICICI, HDFC and SBI. Today, Fino is also very popular in the urban areas, which form 10% of the total pie. It has reached over 46,000 villages and 20 million customers while crossing 1.5 million transactions a month. A journey which in their view is just the beginning. While we have done 20 million customers, the market is estimated to be 400 million customers. So we will continue to grow on this dimension. The second, we will take the customer through more and more products. The customers whom we have acquired, we have already, to the current set of customers, started selling insurance, started selling uh, railway tickets, they can uh, deposit their bills uh, in this network, uh, they can buy a mutual fund from us, they can buy an insurance from us. So we are giving more and more products to the uh, same customer, so that they get in a way the full bouquet of services uh, which are there. With 100 crores of revenues in the current year, the company foresees growth of 100% in the years ahead. Its mission to put agents like Jahangir in every Indian village. Banking for them isn't a luxury, but a right that everyone must have access to. Well, to know more about Fino's products, all you need to do is log on to their website. That's www.fino.co. In. We'll take a breather here on the show, but coming up, we've got an expert on the show to answer an expensive question. All of this in our brand new section called Dr. Startup, right after this break.